What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. We're actually out at the boathouse today. We have another different background from the last time we were out here. We're just kind of switching all kinds of things up. We are going to continue on with our first impressions video with rods. Um, as a lot of you know, I have left my rod sponsor after being sponsored for rods for over six years. Uh, it's time to move on and we are trying all kinds of new things. So one of those things included the Guggen series of rods. Uh, this is our budget portion, meaning uh, rods under $150. And today we're gonna bring you one of the Guggen rods. So we're gonna roll that intro and we'll check it out, guys. Alright guys, so I know Guggen gets a lot of hate, we're not here to discuss any of that, please keep the comments uh, respectable down in the comment section below. Yes, you, you all can disagree, if you don't like it that's fine, but don't be rude, don't be hateful, there's no need for any of that stuff. So, if we can have a genuine conversation, we will, if not, I'm not even going to waste my time. So, first rod up, this is, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh wow, he's going with a spinning rod for a change. This is the Guggen Green Series Finesse. Uh, really looking forward to getting a, some new spinning rods. Um, you all know I don't use a whole lot of spinning rods. I'm not, I'm just not big on it. I don't, I don't care for it too much. Uh, but I got to say, I was surprised by this one. Um, I guess the way that I hold my rod is a little different than everybody. I hold my rod up here. Um, I don't know how everybody else does it, but I hold my rod up top. So you got your reel handle here. I come down here, up here. This is where I hold mine. And I use the butt against my forearm for leverage. Um, so this is how I fish a spinning rod. And I know a lot of people, there may be some say that you're wrong doing that. I don't really care. It works for me. So. The Guggen Green Series. Uh, so this is a medium action, medium fast, and all around is an awesome rod. So far, from what I've used it, it's got really nice sensitivity to it, which I was kind of surprised by. Just from hearing the preconceived notions about Guggen rods, I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, but it's really sensitive, I like it a lot. Our guides, they have really nice guides on them. It's got that beautiful black and green look to it. It's got some nice tip to it. Uh, I really love how much it flexes, but it still has a lot of backbone back here. Um, I've got a really large uh, Ned rig on here, but that's actually not what I'm gonna use it for. Uh, probably gonna use this for some shaky heads, stuff like that. I've got a couple of other, I got two other spinning rods. I know a lot of people are like, wow, that's a lot of spinning rods. I got four now. I used to have six, so it's not you know it's no different. Uh, but I am going to use this for just a couple of different odds and ends. So I got the Ned on here right now. I've got the Proficiency A12 3K on here. I just thought that it looked really good on there. So a couple of features that I just really loved about the Guggen rod. Number one, let me just I'll do it real quick. I'm sure you can hear it. It's got a clicking reel seat. I absolutely love that. That really locks the reel seat in for me. I know how tight I can get it, and it it just rests my worries that anything may happen to that reel coming out. Uh, the second thing that I really like, a lot of the rods that we've been getting in this budget series does not have anything up here to protect your finger from the screw lock. If you'll see, we have EVA foam up here, so you actually, when I'm gripping it, I don't have that heavy plastic right here on my fingers when I'm holding it and fishing it. So I really like that feature as well. Another cool feature, uh, Guggen is always doing stuff with measuring boards. Uh, so we've got the uh, line measurer over here. Uh, it goes from zero all the way up to 23 inches. So is it a necessity? No. Is it practical? I don't know, maybe, but it's just a cool little T, uh, cool little touch they put on there that not everybody thinks about but Guggen did so just overview real quick before we get into the nitty-gritty details uh, the green wraps I have I'm a sucker for lime green guys I love lime green uh, when 13 had their lime green rods I fished the absolute crap out of them but ended up breaking a lot of them uh, the grips down here they're a little big uh, I know a lot of people are going to say they don't like how big it is. I have bigger hands. I love how 
big they are. I love how it feels. So we're gonna roll a little bit of B-roll, give you a little bit more details, and we'll wrap this up. The Guggen Squad Finesse Spinning Rod shines when using smaller lures that are hard to cast on casting gear. The rod tip's sensitive, fast action detects discovery bites and sets the hook in a hurry. Medium power and length to cast smaller lures a country mile. The Guggen Squad Finesse Spinning Rods. Small presentations, big reputation. All right, guys, there you have it. The Guggen Green Series Finesse. It is a medium action, fast. I, I absolutely love it. Um, I, I'm really surprised by it. I really am. When coming from fishing these $300 to $400 rods, coming down into the budget section of, you know, I think the cheapest one we got was $70, and then coming all the way up to $150 for our budget section, um, I've been really surprised. I really have been. Uh, granted, some, you know, I, I can tell the sensitivity isn't there in some of them compared to what I'm used to, but you're to expect that with these rods. You, it, it's, it's not a $300 rod, $400 rod anymore. Like, it is what it is. I'm really excited for them. Uh, I'm really excited for this Guggen rod as well. I've got three other Guggen rods that I'm going to bring to you guys and show you, or no, I'm sorry, four other Guggen rods I'm gonna bring to you and show you all. Uh, but those will be at a later date. So uh, we're gonna wrap this video up. If y'all like these videos, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it. Respectfully, Let's have a talk about the Guggen Rods. What you think, if you like them, be respectful about it. And we'll have a talk about them down there. Like, comment, subscribe, notifications on. Take care, everybody.